All right, listen up Blinks. October 4th just got stamped in history because finally, after what feels like forever, Lisa dropped her highly anticipated single, Moonlit Floor. It's a fresh, global pop twist on the 1997 classic, Kiss Me, by Sixpence None the Richer. This isn't just a song, it's a full-on Lisa vibe. Lisa shared on Instagram that this track holds a special place in her heart. Turns out, little Lisa was jamming to, Kiss Me, back in the day, and now she's living her dream, delivering her own version of the song. Oh, and if you were lucky enough to catch the Global Citizen Festival on September 28th, you would have seen Lisa absolutely slay her first ever live performance of Moonlit Floor. And, just when we thought things couldn't get any better, today she dropped a dance challenge for the song. Picture this, Lisa dancing on a balcony, the Paris skyline in the background. But wait, here's where the tea starts spilling. Fans are all buzzing about the lyrics, thinking they might be throwing some serious shade at her rumored boo, Frederic Arno. Yup, we're going there. Is it a diss track? A love song? Something in between? No one knows for sure, but the gossip is real. Oh, and plot twist. Lisa's name is nowhere to be found in the songwriting credits. Instead, we've got Matt Slocum guitarist of Sixpence None the Richer, the Canadian singer-songwriter Jesse Reye, and Ryan Williamson. Naturally, the internet went wild. How could this song be about Frederic if Lisa didn't even write it? Some fans think it's a little weird, while others are like, thank goodness she didn't write it. They're out here saying, at least she didn't write something cringy that could backfire. But others are kinda relieved. They're saying it's better she didn't write the lyrics, that way no one can hate on her for it. What do you think about it? Meanwhile, on the Jenny front, on October 3rd, our girl flew back to South Korea after her killer appearance at Chanel's Paris Fashion Week, and guess what? She's rocking a fresh blonde look. Jenny teased her new hair on Instagram, casually dropping a hint, like, I hope you guys love it. And speaking of being obsessed, if you're hyped for Jenny's next single, Mantra, buckle up. The teaser just dropped, and the single is coming on October 11th. She even gave us a sneak peek at some lyrics, and let me tell you, it's spicy. We've got, this that pretty girl mantra, and, check you like commas. Then, in her latest post, she goes full on boss mode with, she's that stunner. Jenny's about to own October. Meanwhile, let's not forget Jisoo. She's been working on her upcoming movie The Prophet, Omniscient Reader and they just released the first poster. It features none other than Lee Min-ho and Ahn Hyo-sup battling it out against a fiery sunset backdrop. The movie's set to drop in 2025, and it's based on a web novel that's been going strong for a decade. Jisoo will play Lee Ji-hai, a total fighter who helps save the world alongside the novel's main hero. Sounds epic, right? Oh, and Jisoo just updated her fans on Bubble, showing off her new brown hair. Now, if you know Blackpink, you know what it means when one of the members changes their hair color. Something big is coming. She's already hinted that she's planning a comeback once she wraps up her acting projects. Could it be soon? Maybe November? Just think about it, Lisa in September, Jenny in October, Jisoo in November, and Rosé in December. Is this leading up to a massive Blackpink's member solo comeback? Stay tuned, because there's no way you want to miss what's coming next. And as always, stick around here on Blackpink today for all the juicy updates, hot takes, and epic content you crave. See you in the next video.